Professor Stephen Garnett never imagined his work would inspire an album, let alone one that would rank highly on the Australian music charts. Never, no. I've never been near the ARIA list before. Professor Garnett is behind a landmark report released earlier this month which found almost a sixth of Australian birds are threatened with extinction. It became the inspiration behind a new album, Songs of Disappearance, which is made up entirely of different bird calls. The idea was sparked after a chat with his student and musician Anthony Olbrecht, who helped produce the album. He wanted his musical skills to be able to talk about conservation and take the message of conservation through to a broader audience. And I said, can you do anything to help tell the message about these birds that are disappearing? And he came up with the idea of using bird songs. In its first week of release, Songs of Disappearance has climbed towards the top of the ARIA album charts, beating the likes of Justin Bieber and Michael Bublé to clinch the fifth spot. It's an absolutely incredible feeling. Uh, we're so lucky that uh, so many uh, Australians have shown their support for, for threatened species. This is the sound of a Carpentarian grass wren. It's one of 53 threatened species of Australian birds featured on this album. The bird songs were all collected by Brisbane-based sound recordist David Stewart Nature Sound, who travelled across Australia over four decades to record them. Some of the recordings are so, so brief because he, he waited hours out in the bush to, to, to hear a peep out of some of these species. Little okay. bird on the bird? Yes. It's hoped listeners will take away an important message. It will give them a window into the, the world of birds that they won't get from their back garden. There are all these threatened species that they may not ever be able to hear. Or, but we hope that their children and grandchildren will be able to hear if we take action. The proceeds from the album's sales will go towards BirdLife Australia's conservation efforts. Husni Shams, ABC News.